Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. We are trying to sabotage Lincoln's campaign by messing around with his cue cards. And I believe we've got one more cue card to find because there's only one more topic that we can cover in the debate. Uh, the cue cards are a yellowy cream colour and usually rectangular uh, like this sign we found here. So we're on the lookout for one more of those uh, that can relate to... I can't actually remember the topic. Uh, taxes. Okay. That's enough for now. Keep them coming. I'm ready for anything. So we need one that relates to taxes. And that is a yellowy rectangular thing. <laughs> uh, Frost Gamer has also told me to go back and to read through some of the posters by uh, Sybil's Place. Because apparently there's going, some quite Sam? funny ones there. So we're going to head back there. To the Shotgun! And we'll see what we can find. But yeah, apparently there's some nice little puns and things on there that I didn't look at last time, so. Ooh, there's something yellow there, but we we can actually interact with that. So, what have we got over here? We have got... Got. Something about got. Give me all you got. It's Give me all you got. Recruiting slogan. That's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? <laughs> Apparently, there is no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think that's gonna be the one, isn't it? Give me all you got. That could tie into taxes. Give me all you got. So I wonder if that was a clue then from Frost Gamer. <laughs> it may Spin well have been. Championship is coming up. Spin the bottle like championship. The sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. Oh god, that sounds terrifying. Do you like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. <laughs> Professional wrestling? We should go to Switzerland sometime, Max. Nah, they always jip you on the cheese. It's like half air. <laughs> okay, well, we've got more give of these ones. Got. So then, I wonder if the give me all you got poster thing is actually what we were looking for. There's some sort of tray there, but we can't pick that up. It's a lot of rubbish, it's got to be said. Um, into the car. Into, in, into the car. <laughs> Sam, into the car, please. Come on. Where are we going, Sam? We're going back to the White House because I think We're we might have what White we House. need. Oh boy! So, good little hint there, Frost Gamer. Thank you. I didn't actually look at those last time. You, you are absolutely right. If I had done, then I probably would have found that by accident. So, there we go. It's always nice when people leave the comments, so it can be a bit more interactive, though, isn't it? Uh, right. Let's talk about the issues. How would you describe your tax plan? Oh, right, okay, sorry. That's enough for now. We didn't try putting the cue card on, did we? Time out. That would have been silly, wouldn't it? Okay, can we add it on? We can! Nice! Give me all you got. Yeah, that's definitely going to be it, isn't it? Give me all you got for the tax. Mr. Lincoln, could you elaborate on your stand on family oh, values? Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Describe the tax plan. How would you describe your tax plan? Give me all you got. And candidate Lincoln has yeah, nice. An economic strategy, which even Democrats are calling a trifle excessive. That had to have hurt him in the polls. Come on, hurt him in the polls. Ooh, we're one percent behind. Okay, one percent behind. So now what, Max? Uh, we need to beat Lincoln in the polls. It's going to be hard to improve your ratings in the polls. I already showed them how I can wrap my lower lip around my entire head. <laughs> what more do these people want? I don't know. They want to vote for Lincoln. Then we should fix that. Yeah, okay, so. The people love Lincoln's family Lincoln's values. Really impressed the people with his family values platform. He should stop being such a stick in the mud and get out and live a little. Right, so we're going to have to do something okay, with the family values, I guess? Mr. Lincoln, could you elaborate on your stand on family values? Without a strong, honest, and faithful family, we are all nothing. I myself have been faithful to my wife for over 150 years. So, I think we're going to have to find a way for him to not... To, to sort of find a way of proving that he's not been faithful to his wife. He's too busy talking with his candidate. The question is, how are we going to be able to do that? Is there anything in the White House that could help us out? 
I can hear Max doing that armpit fighting thing <laughs> all the way across there. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. Uh, we've got the camera. Let's just have a look at all the items. I don't think Daredevil... Representatives and gardens. I don't think Daredevil mentioned anything in here as relating to uh, Lincoln. We've still got this budget thing, haven't we? Step away from the national budget, sir. That's for the president's eyes only. Oh yeah, he won't let us go near that. Um, what's the picture of? Is it the old president? Apparently, even mechanical puppets have mothers. Oh yeah, it's the old president puppet's mum. What's this say? I can't let you touch that, sir. Only the president may use the presidential calendar. Right, so we're going to need to be the president to access any of this stuff. So I guess that perhaps comes later. So what... We've got a Lincoln campaign flyer. It's Lincoln's campaign flyer. I want you, honest, dedicated, over a century of experience. Abraham Lincoln is your man. Okay. I don't know if that could be tied into a puzzle. It's Lincoln's campaign flyer. I want you, honest, dedicated, over a century of experience. Abraham Lincoln is your man. Okay. I don't know. I honestly don't know. So, we need to prove that he hasn't been Where are we going, faithful, Sam? right? So, back to the office. Shotgun. The only thing that I can think of that vaguely ties into marriage and things like that is Sybil's dating thing. So, unless Sybil's perhaps got an idea of something we can do. Because I think there was a puzzle here, wasn't there? Something to do with something. I can't remember. <laughs> Let's talk to Sybil. Hey, Sybil. How goes the dating game? Computer-generated love is in the air. Okay. Uh, okay, what are you looking for in a date again? What are you looking for in a date again? I would love to meet a tall, older man with a good career. Right, a tall, older man with a good career. So maybe we can set Sybil up with... The Lincoln statue. God, the things this game makes me say. How does this dating service work again? People submit applications listing their good traits and what they're looking for. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time. Right. Okay, I bet. See you around, Sybil. I bet then we can submit this as an application. What's this? A new application? Yes! It's, uh, for a friend of ours. Nice, okay. Not the Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. He's tall, distinguished, loves the theater. He sounds perfect. That chump doesn't have half my cute, fluffy marks <laughs> Do you think your computer can find him a date? Computer? Nothing. This guy sounds perfect for me. Right, yes, we're gonna oh, set them up. Nice. Number. Next time you see him, give him my number. I'd love to meet him. Okay, so wh what's... Where's your number? Can we use this? Go ahead, next caller. You're on Love Talk with Dr. Feelnice. Hey, keep away from my intercom. <laughs> okay, how do we... How exactly... Hey, how goes the dating game? Computer-generated love is in the air. How do we get... Okay. See you around, Sybil. I'm not really sure how we get her number, unless we literally just talk to Lincoln and say about it. We could also maybe use... Okay, I've got two ideas. First, we'll go and talk to Lincoln and see if that helps. If not, maybe we can use the phone in our office to pretend to be Lincoln or something like that, because we've rung... Where are we going, Sam? We've rung the White House before. We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! And we have done prank calls before, I think, in previous episodes, if I remember right. Then we prank call the commissioner or someone, so maybe we can do something like that. Right, Max has gone over to the phone, so maybe we can use the payphone, actually. But first, let's, um... We found you a woman! Mr. Lincoln, we've picked out a single lady friend who would be just perfect for you. She has a job and still has all her own teeth. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Let me give you her number so you can give her a call. Ain't no reanimated president too big to appreciate a booty call. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? 
The idea is preposterous. I've been happily married for over 150 years. I would never consort with another woman. Oh, I see. So the rumors are true. What rumors? Nothing. <laughs> okay, fine. So that's... Uh, are you sure you have family values? Lincoln, would you like to address the audience again? Of course. This is a date that will be remembered. Okay, we don't, we don't, we don't want to see that again. But uh, are you sure you have family values? Mr. Lincoln, could you elaborate on your stand on family values? Without a strong, honest, and faithful family. Okay, we've heard that before as well, so we'll skip that. So, he's not going to call himself, so I'm guessing we call for him. Maybe we can use this pay phone, or maybe we've got to use our office phone. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollar. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Okay, so. We know the number. Maybe we have to ring the number and to pretend to be civil going, or Sam? something? I don't know. Let's go back to the office back and we'll see. Shotgun! There's a lot of toing and throwing in this episode. But we know we can definitely use the phone in the office. So if Lincoln's not going to make the call, we'll make the call for him. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm being very confident that this is the solution to the puzzle. And if it's not, then it's going to look really silly. But never mind. It's got to be, right? Are the phone Is the phone still on hold? It is. It's going to cost us a fortune. Who are you calling, Sam? Uh, Sybil. Sybil. Yeah. Uh, you bet. Honest Abe here. Very funny, Sam. I have to keep this line open for his call. Oh, come on. Come on, Sam. Who are you calling, Sam? Uh, the White House. The White House. Abraham Lincoln here. Have you checked the baby? Who is this? Is this that Max Pump? No. Close. <laughs> but, okay, so... Right, um, so Sybil answers the phone, but we don't sound like Lincoln, so that's a problem. How are we going to sound like Lincoln? Doesn't seem like we can do a voice. So, I'm trying to think now. The o Okay, the only way that I can, th okay. Might have figured it out. Might have figured it out. The only thing that I can think of is Where we have going, the Sam? um, we have the little recording the bug thing, oh right? So we used that to to get the password in the mafia house. So I wonder if we can use the little recording bug to record Whee! Lincoln and then play it down the phone. That makes sense, right? Makes sense to me anyway. <laughs> Uh, the problem is, didn't we leave the bug here or something? Yeah, it's, it's, it's on the desk. Okay, here's what he said. Well, don't that beat all. Hey, Chuckles, check this out. When you fold the dollar bill this way, it makes him look like he's Putin. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh, dear. Whee! Out we go, anyway. Right, okay. Let's now see if we can potentially record Lincoln's voice. Here. Aha, we can! We can! Mr. Lincoln, would you like to say a few words to the audience? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries. Ah, to come. yes, ladies. Today is the day we return America to greatness. I stand here at the steps of the White House, not above the people, but with the people. Only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. The time to act is now. Thank you. So he mentioned... I've heard better addresses from the 411 operator. <laughs> what did you just say? Hey, Lincoln! Captain Ahab called. He wants his beard back. I'm gonna slap you silly oh little god. punk. Save it for the debate, Max. Okay, fine. <laughs> right, let's take the listening device then. Um, did it record? 
Nah. Okay, I don't know if it actually recorded him, but given that it automatically played that statement, I'm guessing so. Where are we going, Sam? Uh, we're going back to the office. Back to the office. Shotgun! <laughs> Right, if this doesn't work, then I don't know what is going to work. I thought I've had this puzzle solved three times, and we've been almost there every time, but not quite. So, fingers crossed, this is it. Okay, so, do we just use it on the phone, then? Who are you calling, Sam? Uh, Sybil. Sybil. Yeah, here we go. Uh, okay. Uh, I am Abraham Lincoln and that man. I, 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 Abraham Lincoln am that man. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. Oh, wow, well, Mr. President. It's just, it's just such an honor to talk to you. I saw your application and I was wondering, would you like to go out sometime? Uh, this is a date that will be remembered for centuries. I stand here at the steps of the White House. Only one man can leave the nation. The date one, I'm guessing. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Oh my, you are a charmer, aren't you? Well then, Mr. Rail Splitter, you know, where would you like to meet? Oh, uh, okay, the steps of the White House has got to be, right? I stand here at the steps of the White House. At the White House, got it. Um, the time to act is now? Yeah. The time to act is now. Oh, I love that decisiveness. I'll rush right over. Yes! I'm gonna slap you, silly, you Oop. little punk. What? I didn't catch that. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I will feast on your entrails and devour stop your soul. Stop, bug. Jeez, stop, bug. Abe? What's going on? Uh, see you soon. Gotta go. <laughs> okay, well, uh, <laughs> that got dark at the end there, didn't it? So, to sum up, family values are the bedrock of this each. Our fidelity, honesty, and loyalty to family is our most sacred asset as Americans. Candidate Max, your remodel? <laughs> Yahoo, Mr. Lincoln! I believe we have a question in the audience from someone who is not candidate Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, oddly specific oh, there. Hi, Sam. Hi, Max. Greetings, random harlot. <laughs> hey, I'm here. Are you ready for our date? What? I've never seen this woman before in my life. Sure. But on the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date with this woman. <laughs> oh, so she's good enough to fool around with, but not to date. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. Ooh. Oh, here we go, the newspaper. <laughs> oh, dear. We're in the lead! We're in the lead! We're going to be president! The results from the emergency election are coming in. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected president of the United States. Yes! In an unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. Let's no. cut to the White House lawn to hear candidate Lincoln's address. No. You've got to be <laughs> me, you idiot. Whoa. He took the news much better than expected. Democracy? I will make you all my hypnotic slaves. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Abe Lincoln will enslave the entire East Coast if we don't stop it. Who cares? I'm the president of the U.S. <laughs> Let's go bomb someone into oblivion. Not just anyone, Max. Abe Lincoln must die. Yes! Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> what a turn of events. We'll leave it there for this one, guys, and pick it up in the next one where we're going to have to take down Abe Lincoln. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Tumbly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, and Hobo for all the support of the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.